What is shaking, everyone? I'm back. I've got a bunch more mail to open. And uh, we're just going to start ripping into it. I didn't make videos for a few days last week just because I was busy with the kids and getting everything set up is kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. So I know I had a couple day lag there, but hopefully that won't be happening much more moving forward. First card. Pretty sweet card, 1968 Tops. Maury Wills, PSA graded at a four. Very good to excellent condition. Obviously, we are off center, left to right. A little bit top to bottom. Actually have tape or something. I mean, there's crap all over this. Like, I'm gonna have to Google on this before I even take a photo to list it on my eBay store. But yeah, Hall of Famer, Maury Wells, 68 tops, PSA 4, very good to excellent condition. I think for a 4, it looks pretty darn tight, though. The issues you're seeing, that's on the slab, not the card. I mean, the corners, are, the corners aren't sharp by any means, but they're all there. Nothing's creased. The centering's okay. Pretty good looking card for a 4. And no complaints. I got a good deal on it. I think I could sell it for more than what I bought it for. So I went for it. Next up, hey, I love these little black Darth Vader uh, bubble mailers, by the way. I can't bring myself to spend any money on bubble mailers. I just keep recycling these. Which I've said, maybe I haven't said it recently, but if you uh, buy a lot on eBay and you resell anything on eBay, save your bubble mailers. I just keep a milk crate full of them. But I've never actually paid for a bubble mailer, ever, and I've shipped hundreds of cards because I just save the ones that they send me when I buy them and recycle these babies. All right. Well, it's packaged well. Not sure what we got here at all. Oh, this is a cool ass card. 1969 Tops Johnny Bench All Star PSA graded at a four. Very good to excellent condition. Hey, another decent looking four. There's two PSA fours for you, and I'd say they're similar. I mean, that's off center, top to bottom, really bad, right to left for sure. But this is a pretty early Johnny Bench card. I'm embarrassed to say I don't know exactly when his rookie year was. Offhand. I do some vintage, but I'm not uh, as big into vintage as what I am into modern. But it's definitely an early Johnny Bench. Granted, it's an all-star card, card, so it's not his regular issue. But awesome card. I think I paid about 10 bucks for it. I probably will be selling that. Okay, I'll tell you right now. What do we got? Once again, doesn't show what you paid for. Something in here is pretty heavy. Hopefully I didn't order anything non-card. I don't think I did. All right, we'll just pull them out one at a time. Here we go, 2011 Bowman Chrome. Bowman Chrome Draft, Jose Altuve, rookie card. PSA graded at an eight. Yeah, 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 I know. Everybody hates the Astros, because they cheat, but I think Altuve is still, I still think he's a stud player. That's all there is to it. I really do. And if you ever want, to, if you want any part of investing in any kind of Houston Astros, now is the time to do it because I think their cards are about as low as they're ever going to be because I don't believe that the whole cheating, I think we're going to find that uh, it didn't have the effect that maybe some are giving it credit for right now. So anyhow, you can buy Astros really cheap right now. And that's why I bought that Altuve. Another card that I'm going to have to sit on for a while before I can really make any money on it if I look to sell it. I know I have a raw copy. I think it's my only graded. All right, next one in this lot is a 2016 Topps Pro Debut, Victor Robles. PSA graded at an 8. Don't remember what I paid for this, but I must have got a pretty decent deal on it because this is certainly not a card that I would have sought out necessarily. 
I do believe that uh, there's some decent deals out there on Robles. I'm also a little bit concerned about Robles' hitting. I mean, he's very strong defensively. He steals base. He's a good player. But uh, I really want to see the bat improve. Before I invest too much in Victor Robles, I'm going to need to see some, some output in the batting department, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I hope he doesn't turn into... Well, I'm not even going to say it. He's better than that. All right, next up, we have got another Victor Robles. I think it was a lot of two Robles or something like that, but 2016 Topps Heritage Victor Robles Minor League card, PSA graded at a 9. Let's see. 73 at bounce, uh, Auburn. Two home runs, two home runs. I mean, 343, 370. Three seven, same exact year, same exact year shown on the back of these. Um, I think there is room with Robles. I guess is what I'm saying. I want to see him hit more, no doubt about it. Need to see him hit more. We don't want him to be a what's his name Hamilton. But that being said, uh, I think the potential is there, and he's really cheap right now, coming off a World Series championship. He is not an expensive guy to pick up. Let me show my address to everybody in the world. Well, I guess everybody in the world doesn't watch my videos, so I don't have to worry about that. All right. Come on out. You know, it takes me a couple videos to get in the flow. I feel like some of these I'm just boring. I'm trying to really spice it up for you guys, but I'm struggling. But i got to get this mail open. All right, we got a 2013 Topps Archives Manny Machado rookie card, SGC graded at a 10, gem mint condition. The combination of, I do think Machado is undervalued right now. Machado is the kind of guy that can go on a hot streak, and I, I don't think Machado is a Hall of Famer. I don't think he's got the head on his shoulders, but he's been a very good player. There are definitely some concerns because he hasn't really hit for the same kind of power or same kind of average for that matter since he left Camden, Camden Yards in Baltimore, which is obviously, if you know anything, it's a pretty big hitter's part. So he hasn't hit like that anywhere but there. But that being said, he's the kind of guy who can definitely go on a tear and definitely uh, put a big season together and make his cards increase enough that I'll be looking to sell. This particular card, I actually really like these, the archives, um, but they're not, they're, they're about third, fourth in line in terms of value. But the fact that it is a gem mint 10, I was kind of playing the SGC game. Okay, I can get an SGC 10 much cheaper than I can get a PSA 10. This one, th th that purchase was more about opportunity than anything else. Again, I think Machado is someone that uh, I'm going to have to sit on for a while to get anything back on any kind of Machado investment, but I'm okay with that. I do think he's the kind of guy that he can do big enough things, and the name's somewhat known already. He can do big enough things that uh, really put him back on the radar. And when he's back on the radar, I'll probably sell him right then and there because I'm not a huge Machado fan by any means. But I, I do think he's a good player. I think he's a dirty player. More or less, but it has very little to do with buying his cards. Okay, next up. No idea what we got here. Oh, I know what this is. This is really a goofy thing I bought. This is a lot of Jerry Rice cards I bought for like 15 bucks. There's nothing real special about it, but I knew that I could... You know, break the lot up and sell them individually and get more than what I paid for the lot, for sure. Actually make a little bit of a profit on it. So first off, we got the 1999 Tops Jerry Rice. PSA 9, mint condition. What's that going to be his 14th year, maybe? Before he went to Oakland, though? Probably his last year in San Fran. I'd have to double check that, but I would 
be willing to think. He played for such a long time, at a high level, too. He left San Fran and had some really good years in Oakland. But anyhow, 99 tops, Jerry Rice. The 98 tops, Jerry Rice, which... I was going to say, he's coming off an injury here. Jerry owns four 200-plus in 61 100-yard games. And he added to that after this card was made, I promise you. Anyhow, you know, any Jerry Rice card, and these are tops. It's not some oddball deal. So any Jerry Rice card, even his 14th, 15th year, it's still going to be worth 5 10 bucks for sure. And by buying a lot, I got them cheaper than that, which is sweet. And they're getting older, too. 94 tops Jerry Rice, PSA 9. The landscape card. That is a good-looking card, though, isn't it? I think that's sweet. Yeah, this is definitely a situation where I bought the lot knowing that I could split the lot up and profit on it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, Jerry Rice. I love it. And the other half, I think these are all Jerry Rice. I think it was like a lot of six cards. I don't recall what I paid for it, but it was less than 20. I want to say it was like 15 bucks. Because it's one of those ones where I just kept doing the math. And I'm like, I don't think there's any way I get less than five bucks a piece for those rice cards. The math just worked out, so I bought it. And I have no qualms about investing in Jerry Rice. I mean, I don't care how overproduced the cards are. Graded and high grades. I mean, these are all nines. So, I had no issue with picking them up. Yep, there's going to be more Jerry. Let's see what we got. The 2000. So what do we got? 94, 98, 99, 2000 tops. Jerry Rice. Again, PSA 9, mint condition. If these cards all had a blue border, it's probably a pretty tough grade. I mean, again, it's this 15th or 16th year. It's not like it's an early card. But it's the greatest wide receiver of all time. And it's graded, so that's why I got it. And 2001 top. So basically, I bought 98, 99, 2000, 2001. I got one more here. I bet you it's an 02. Plus a 94. So anyhow, this was this lot was definitely a winner, I think. 2001 tops, Jerry Rice. PSA graded at an 8. Transactions. I don't know if that is a... I wasn't collecting in 2001. So I don't know if... This is his regular card, and it's got this transactions on the side. I'll have to look it up. I'll pull it up on Com C and figure it out. A lot of times it's what I use Com C for, is just to reference different cards. You, know, you can pull it up, and pretty much it's going to be there. You can figure out what exactly you got. Oh, 2003. I thought it might be an 02. But we got a 2003 Topps Jerry Rice. PSA graded at an 8. I think this is probably his second card in a Raiders uniform. Yeah, the 02 would have been in a Raiders uniform. But look at this, guys. You thought he was done. You thought he was done in year 15, and he came out at 83 catches in 01, 92 in 02, over 1,000 yards both years, 9 touchdowns in 01, 7 in 02. I mean, this guy was a man for his entire career. I remember fantasy football. Jerry Rice, when he got to the Raiders, you know, he's just laying around on waiver wires there for a while, and it just came to the point, you have to roster this guy. He's too damn good not to. But he is the greatest receiver of all time. So, But anyhow, yeah, I got that lot of cards. I got it uh, cheap enough that I knew I could sell them for 5 bucks a card and make a profit. So I was happy about that. Next up, I've been picking up these wherever I can, and it's not that easy to pick them up. We got another scuff slab, which pisses me off, but what are you going to do? We got the 90 Tops Traded Emmett Smith. I feel like I just don't see that many of these cards. I see a ton of the Pro Set, but I do not see a ton of the Tops Traded. Which who knows what the print run is? I have no idea. But as you know, if you've watched any of my recent videos, I've been picking up Emmett Smith pretty much whatever I can. I think that. Uh, He's certainly a good investment. And his cards are definitely trending up. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you made it to the end, I'm quite impressed because I know I tend to get a little uh, clueless. But 
one take. I do these in one take. There's not going to be two two takes on any of these. That's it. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Please feel free to leave a comment. I will reply to every one of them. And uh, subscribe to the channel. That's all I got for you. Later.